A few years ago, Mrs. Cunningham of Happy Days was voted the number one TV sitcom mom by Mother's Day Central. How they reached that decision is unclear, but it was a good choice. Happy Days first aired when I was in high school and was one of the few must-see TV shows for me. Marianne Cunningham was portrayed by Marion Ross as an intelligent, gentle, and loving mom. They didn't let her be played as cartoonish or buffoonish. Instead, she was the kind any kid would love to call mom. Her house and kitchen were always clean and open as she played the traditional role of a stay-at-home mom. She was easy to get along with, wasn't harsh or mean, but had rules to be kept. She wasn't perfect, but she was a good mom. Being raised like that is one of the best gifts any child can receive. Not every child has that experience, but every child deserves that special mother who gives the gentle, loving care that sets the foundation for happy days as an adult. Moms do more to shape the future than any CEO or politician. The only thing better than a good mom is a godly mom. When Paul wrote to the new Christians in Thessalonica, he reminded them that he and Timothy had treated them with the gentle care of a nursing mother. They had poured their hearts into those folks and given them Jesus. But we prove to be gentle among you as a nursing mother tenderly cares for her own children. Having so fond an affection for you, we were well pleased to impart to you not only the gospel of God, but also our own lives, because you had become very dear to us. 1 Thessalonians 2, verses 7 and 8. There simply isn't a more touching illustration. My wife and I are deeply indebted to our wonderful moms who are both good and godly. On this special day, we recognize them for all they have done. Honor your mom today and every day. If possible, let her know. But if not, thank God for good moms.